Warning, what you are about to see and hear is for entertainment purposes only. The opinions expressed on the show are our opinions and do not reflect the views of BTW21 or its staff. Ladies and gentlemen, Daniel and Chad. God is looking for something real. People are looking for someone real. Just be real. We're your host, Daniel Lewis, brother Chad Hudson. Hello. Back for another podcast, my brother. That we do. Introducing someone very special to us, uh, someone that promotes the county, someone that's uh, been in Patrick County for years. We'll get to know more about him now, Mr. Sonny Swells. Yeah. How you doing? Afternoon. Glad yeah. Be that's, here. Your, that's your camera right there, man. If you want to introduce yourself there, you can just look at that. <laughs> Look at that camera right there. I don't want to break Put you on the it. spot. No, I no. I don't want to break it. Sonny Swales. That's him. In person. <laughs> in person. Here in today. person. Tell us a little bit about yourself, if you don't mind. Just kind of starting out, and then we'll get into the details of why you're here. Oh, gosh. Right. Um, it's a long history. Well, it, it's... It's been a fast one, though. I came to Patrick County in 1968 as a teacher and coach down at Hardin Reynolds Memorial School. Wow. Two years later, we consolidated, and I moved over to Patrick County High School and uh, stayed there till 1979. I was a teacher, coach, um, assistant principal. Oh, wow. And um, left in 1979 and went into the insurance business and been doing that ever since. Nice. Well, cool. Yep. Ah. So you're here representing the Stewart Rotary Club. That is correct. Yes. Uh, Stewart Rotary Club has the Patrick County Agricultural Fair. This is the 69th year of our Patrick County years. Agricultural wow. Fair. I have not been involved with all of them. Yeah. Uh, probably been involved with about 40 some of them. But, uh, <laughs> right. But not all of them. Definitely over half. Um, right. Uh, <laughs> The the Rotary Club took over, I think I'm telling this correctly now, Rotary Club took over the Patrick County uh, Fair, I think in 1962. Really? Wow. Or 52. I believe it, maybe it was 52. Wow. Either one. Because it's... this is our 69th year. Now, yeah. we, we weren't consecutive because uh, COVID knocked us out a couple of years ago. Yeah. I think we missed one year because of COVID, but... Um, we're back strong now and uh, had a good turnout last year. And if the weather's going to help us out this year, we're going to have another great fair. I believe it will. Now, for those who don't know, what is a Rotary Club? Rotary Club is, um, is an organization. It's an international organization. We have, um, I think they say, somewhere around 1.2 million Rotarians around the world. Oh, wow. And um, our club here in Patrick County was started in 1938. Uh, for the that's, uh, that's when most of the schools were built. But when if people know who Judge John D. Hooker was, mm -hmm. Judge John Hooker was our first Rotary president in 1938, God. and uh, we have since named one of our buildings on our grounds yeah. over there, the John D. Hooker Building. Yeah, and um, we've been rolling since 1938. Wow, we got about 50 members. Okay, that uh, will be coming together next week to put on this fair along with a lot of public help. Yes. Uh, we can't do it all by ourselves. So, but we got a lot of, a lot of volunteers. volunteers that come in and help us the next yes. week. And it, it just does a great job. Such a beautiful fair. It so is. 69 years. This mm -hmm. is the 69th anniversary of the Patrick County fair. One thing I can say about it, I've only been here 45 years, but I enjoyed it when I was going, growing up, I enjoyed it. You know, through my teenage years, I enjoyed it. Uh, kind of, you know, my 20s kind of got away, but I started having babies. The babies love to go. The kids love to go. Now the grandkids are all about it. We got some pictures coming up. Just been a, it's something y'all have added and y'all have grown. 
because we have soccer up there. You right. got, you got field. this I, we, rotary uh, field, tonight, you got the soccer. Tonight at 8 o'clock, you know, my, my kids are going to be playing up under the lights. They're excited about that. Yeah, we you put know. those uh, soccer fields in probably about 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. We had a, a, a growing project, and we built uh, two soccer fields over there that accommodates. Uh, I, Clyde was telling me last year, I think there's something like two or 300 young folks that come over and play soccer wow, on yes. our facility. I so totally it's, agree. It's, right. uh, it's a growing sport, too. It is, big time. Yep. So y'all collaborate with the Patchett County Board of Supervisors and the Recreation Department? Is that how that works? Or? Well, we lease that facility to okay. the county. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, the county actually runs it for 11 months out of the year, and we take it over for the month for the fair. Uh -huh. um, and they... They do all the programs over there for the schools and lease it out to people who want to have birthday parties and various celebrations. Of yeah, it's like wrestling there. Not too long ago, they had the wrestling ring in that hey, building. Wrestling? <laughs> wrestling. No, they had wrestling. Wrestling. <laughs> our, kids, our kids at the high school do wrestling. but Yes, uh, sir. Yes, sir. Wrestling. <laughs> Those guys that get paid for it are wrestlers. Wrestlers. <laughs> I agree. That's great. you got the Patch County, uh, the PCMA, PCMA, the Music PCMA Association. Meets, uh, on the, I think it's the last Friday of the month or the third Friday of the month. Yeah. No, Saturday on the month. I Saturday, do, yeah. They I do it remember. on Saturday. That's Denny Alley. Yeah. Uh, he he ramrods that and does a very good job right. with it. Right, very yeah. good job with it, yes. But what we're here to talk about this afternoon is the fair just to kind of get the information out there to the people. Let them know because there's fairs everywhere. We got Henry County Fair, got Franklin County is going on, Surrey County is getting ready to kick up, King. But you got to know about the Patrick County Fair. It's an agricultural fair. So not only can you come ride rides, but you got livestock, you got gospel music, you got where you go in there and they win blue ribbons for uh, different desserts and, well, not desserts, but canned yeah. items. Well, I yeah, guess it's it is desserts, yeah. Pies, desserts. Canned yeah. items, yeah. paintings. The, the biggest pumpkin. Stuff. Yeah, the <laughs> biggest pumpkin. <laughs> yeah. There we go. What? She's already putting some stuff over. We got oh, a pizza geez. eating contest coming up Tuesday night. And that's next Tuesday. I can put down some pizza. Next Tuesday. I have yeah. to get involved in that. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's kind of a teen thing there oh let's, yeah they don't back, they don't want to go up against me let's though. go back to that's the, right <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go back to the pizza thing, thing if you don't mind it does say youth yeah eight ten to 18 years old yeah so if you like to eat they got a pizza eating contest i believe it's sponsored by little caesars so it's, it's you know they've had that for years too the, I, that little caesar sponsors us produce the uh, uh pizzas for us and right. if if you're under 18, you do have to have a parent to sign right. to allow you to do that. So don't come in without your parent if you want to. Yeah. That could get you sick. Yeah, well, Your pancreas could really flare <laughs> up. <laughs> Eat that much pizza. There's a lot of stuff he could go on. Right. But I've enjoyed that over the years. I remember when they first started that up. It's been years ago. And uh, we always had a good time watching them. And I've always wanted to get in on, involved. Also, but you know, yeah, we should have our it's, own. Maybe you not <laughs> above <that> eighteen. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but it's just not the pizza eating contest. You got stuff all week long, so it starts Tuesday, and uh, that is September twelfth. September twelfth, gates will open at five thirty. Uh, rides will start at six o'clock. Right, and they will run until ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Yep. Gotcha. And you have the wristbands where they can ride all or buy tickets, whatever. Right. The the gate fee is five dollars for adults, three dollars for students. Okay. Six and under is free. Well, under go. six is free. Under six. Yep. Cool. Yep. Nice. Yep. Yeah. And on Tuesday night we have our student night, so we don't charge students on Tuesday night. Oh, they can just come on in. Just come on in uh, wow. and go riding. Yeah. Yep. There you go. And on Thursday night. We can invite you guys in. That's senior citizen See, night. Yep. Hey. We, I don't call for that yet. yet. But we're getting close. I'm getting close. <laughs> we are getting close. Oh, we are getting close. Sorry. Well, 60 and above, Did we, say we I... call senior citizens. <laughs> so on um, <laughs> Thursday night, uh, senior citizens need to come on out and come on in and get you a ribeye steak sandwich. And, yes. Uh, That's my favorite. That's what it's known That's for, the Cattlemen's Association. There, right. I go up to Wilbur Walker and I say, hey, buddy. 
fix me something good. <laughs> right. Well, the cattlemen have uh, stopped doing that. Now. Oh, really? Okay. Now yeah. we talk yeah, about yeah, it, just, and now it's gone. Right. No, it's gone. The, the ribeye steak sandwich is not done. It's the cattlemen. <laughs> okay. Oh, they, um, gotcha. they sort of aged out, and yeah. um, Rotary has picked that up. Oh, really? Yep. Uh, okay. Brent and Jane Cardwell, uh, they do the cooking for the Beach Music Festival. And oh, yeah. They yeah. also do the ribeye steak sandwiches, and that's the only thing they do at the fair is the ribeye steak sandwiches. Really? So when you come out of the door, they'll be right, right there. Right there in the same right spot. Right at you. That's right. Right. Uh, and and the, I love walking through the vendors. Like when you first walk in the big building there, you got all these different <clears> – <throat> it's not just vendors. It's business representation. And of course, we got election year coming up. I'm sure you have all those folks also. But we got—I think I got a picture of y'all building the uh, building the little sections there because that's a, that's a lot of work. Y'all put a lot of work. Okay, let's go back a little bit. I'm sorry. How far in advance do you have to start working on this? The year before, probably. <laughs> No, we start uh, after the first of the year. First of the year. That's when we start selling our ads for our fair book. Okay. And signing up people who want to have a booth in the building or a booth outside. Yes. Um, yes. We start probably in March with that. Um, the fair book will be at the fair, so and encourage everyone on your way in or on your way out, pick your fair book up. Right. Uh, you might find your picture in there. So somewhere. it's not out yet. The fair book. It should be here Thursday. Thursday. I think. Okay. Yep. So yeah, <clears throat> about the time this airs, I always look forward to that because you go through the pictures and you say, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah." yeah. Y'all got a really good, I mean, picture selection of everybody just enjoying themselves. And of course, Patrick County's a little tight knit community. Uh, we welcome anybody to come out. You know, we're just uh, down fifty eight or up Route eight or down Route eight or down fifty eight. And have a good time. Next week is the entire fair. Th starts Tuesday all the way through Saturday. Uh, what other what other events do you have besides just the Pete and eat? I know you got more in the pizza eating contest. There's we do every night in the Hooker Building. We have music. We have a stage in the Hooker Building. Uh, Rotarian Bruce Griffith is responsible for the music in the music yeah, building. He's Mr. Woolwine himself. That's right. He's been doing that for years. And uh, he gets the local talent to come in and perform. And I guess on Saturday night they have a hoedown where they'll have flat footing. And yeah, um, it's it's a it's a fun night in the in the Hooker Building. Right. I it do is. I do like the hoedown. My mother was down from Connecticut, and uh, we were driving past, and she said, "Stop." <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> do you hear that? I was like, "What? That's real music, right? Turn real around." Music. So yes. we had to turn around, and and we spent the night, you know, just listening to some great picking in a picking in. And a you see a lot of people in there; they'll go it get was, them some it was to packed. eat. Usually, and then they were playing on the stage in the in the main building. But then the good sound was just over there in the little corner. All of them just get together right. and start, you know, free right. handing or free playing. Man, right. I really enjoyed that. And just like you said with the ribeye steaks, just usually they have the Boy Scout troops or the Girl Scouts there, or the band, uh, Patch County band members. They're selling food, so you can help somebody out. Plus, go listen to some good music while you're right. chowing. We do. We have yeah, some uh, some really good food over there. We have a business coming in called Sweet Surrender Ice Cream. Really? And ice cream is one thing that really gets me. I have to have my ice cream. I'm Amen. With you. I'm looking forward to them. Especially this time of year. Yep. We got a, another outfit coming in called Bucking Good Eats. <laughs> uh, not exactly sure what those Bucking Good Eats are, but uh, I'm sure they're Bucking Good. They're going to be good. <laughs> right. Um, of course, the Rotary Club is doing ribeye steak sandwiches. Mm, uh, that's, that's me. That's the hit. Uh, we've got people that will come. Come in, buy a ticket to get in the gate, go in and get them a ribeye sandwich, and go home. That's yeah, right. I've right. seen it. That's I right. have too. Yeah. Uh, band boosters uh, are in go. the uh, one of the concession stands down there, and the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts mm -hmm. split one of the other concession stands. Nice. Um, the fishing team will be there. They'll be selling cold sodas. Yeah. Uh, and, and we course, had the state champions this year, right? fishing team was state champions. I believe so. I know the Didn't baseball team was. Well, the baseball, the baseball team, team, yeah, was. but uh, state, I think maybe first or second. But they've been state champions in the past. They I can't remember. A couple of times. Yeah, quite a few times. Yep. Yeah, so definitely support there. I love it. Yep. And, of course, the the fair people also bring in, uh, they have elephant ears and fried donuts. And, oh, man, funnel cakes. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, I love that stuff. They have stuff. a lot of good stuff, too. Dad always wants candy apple. 
Yeah, he's candy awesome. Candy apples. Yep. He's about yep. some candy apples. Yeah. He's like, you going to do the fair? Um, yeah, I believe I am. Can you get me a candy apple or two if you don't mind? I hmm. love him candy apples. I'm I do a- too. If they can make it back to his house, it's lucky. <laughs> Cause I'm usually chowing them down pretty good. We got some pictures on that one too. I got some candy apples going. Uh, she's probably having a hard time. I sent her probably about 40 photos. I was looking on y'all's Facebook page, downloading the photos and wanted to send it up there. Just the kids having fun on the carousels. And, uh, you got several, several rides, Ferris wheels, all these little different like that right there. Uh, I call it the puker. <laughs> <laughs> If I wrote it, it was that's what would happen. But uh, people love that thing, and I think it's three or four. Yeah, there's the Ferris wheel. That Beautiful be, picture. That would of that. be the one I'd have to get on. Like yeah, that. yeah, and that's, that that's me. Around. That's me now. These days, I thought I could handle it, but whew, well, we start reason, heading down fifty eight, and my kids see that Ferris wheel through yeah, the trees. It's lit up. It, yeah, it lights up the whole hill. It lights up the whole hillside. They start getting excited now. So this is at Rotary Field. This Look is at it. right. That's the Thank drone shot. Uh, shout out to Rick Craig on that. That's, that's a few years back there. Uh, but that's the entire thing, just about the entire thing. You're kind of missing the demolition derby, but I think I got some more pictures of that. But now, that's a daytime that? shot. Do we have a demolition derby yeah, this year? Yeah, that's one of the big things. To, there we go. Yeah. That's one of the big things, too. Is that happening this year? That's happening on Saturday Double night. Zero. Saturday that's night. Indeed. Saturday night. Yep. If you like the sound of cars crushing each other. Now that brings people in from, I mean, just not Patrick County where we're from, but from surrounding counties. That that's a that's right. a world class that's double lot, right yeah. There. There's old double lot, yeah. Uh, but um, that brings a crowd in. It does. Yeah, the demolition derby is really our flagship of the week. That's the one that draws the most attention, and we got people that come from Carolina and down toward Danville and up on the mountain. Oh, absolutely, um, just to run cars Galax into each other, to bang each other up. It's and a, it's fun. Yeah, this is what we like to do in Southern Virginia. We like seeing cars run into each other. Yep, when uh, it's, when on it's the regulated or regulated. Or, there, or, there, now there's the crowd. There's yeah, a picture. Look at the Thank crowd. you, Chad. Look at that. Thank you, Chad, for that picture right there. That just it still doesn't do it justice, but it, it's better than the pictures that I had because, I mean, it's thousands of people sitting up there having a good time enjoying this demolition derby every Saturday night. And it'll be next Saturday night, next what, Saturday September night. 16th. Yep, and we got a um, sponsor is Patrick County Tourism. Okay. And uh, they've stepped up this year. and Great. They have, they've got a, a $100 fee that will be given to any of the first 20 drivers that register for the event. Okay. So the first 20 drivers are going to get $100 right off the bat. Right off so the they're kind of basically paying for the fee to get in? or is No, that, they still they still have to pay the fare. Still pay the fare for the people pay, who run right, the event. They're going to pay for gas and you know, pay right. for their tires. To get up to there. Right. That's, that's a nice gesture. Yes, it I is. Like that. Yep. Absolutely. And they stepped up and uh, given that Two thousand dollars, which is twenty times a hundred, and um, they also added three hundred dollars to the prize monies that oh, the winners will be getting. So wow. we want to thank the tourism uh, committee for, Amen. for yeah. stepping up with that. Yes. It's six o'clock now. That's when the real event happens because that's when we have our Power Wheel Derby. Okay. Yeah. That's when those kids get out yes. there. That's right. That's yeah. right. Kids come in with their battery-operated uh, yes, power wheels right. and bang around or ride around. <laughs> they don't do a whole lot of banging, but they have a good time. Right. Yeah. They still got the, uh, I think it's they put balloons on each yeah. corner or something. Yep. You try to pop stuff. the balloons. Try to break the balloons. Yes. Yeah, I love it. I love it. So but for people that don't know power wheels, uh, again, it's little kids, and they're in their power wheels. I guess anybody can probably enter. I Internet think there's two age groups. It's three to six and okay. six to nine. Okay, cool. Uh, so uh, if you get yeah. to be 10, I think you age out. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's made for little little youngins That's anyway. Right. So it's got the got the balloons on each side, and then they try to pop the balloons so there's not <laughs> any of that mess, But uh, which you can only do so much in power wheels anyway. But... Uh, that's fun. I, I enjoy seeing them get out there and enjoy. They want to be like the big cars, and that that, that just grows into more. You so know, that's later at, on. That's at six o'clock. Six o'clock next six Saturday. O'clock. Yep. Next Saturday. Yep. And at seven o'clock, that's when our regular derby starts. And this year, we're going to have four classes. Okay. 
we'll have the um, the big cars. They full size. Full size V8s. Yep. Uh, we'll have a V not a V6, but a six cylinder and a four cylinder. Okay. And they have two two type classifications. One is called um, a wire up, and that's the I guess that's the entry level for people who want to be in the Derby. <laughs> Basically, all you have to do there is take the glass out of your vehicle, wire the doors so they can't bounce open, yeah. and go bang them up. Oh, okay. really? So, yeah. so that's good. So yeah. you're, you're taking a stock class. Because let's face it, throughout the years, some of these demolition cars are not stock anymore. They have learned how to pre-bend them little that's stiffening right. up yes, in the corners the, yep. and you're so you're bringing back some stock car racing that's good like yeah, they, <laughs> they call that a modified weld right and huh. basically they say you can do just about anything to uh, enhance your car to make it more competitive against the cars you're running against oh. whereas with that um, that entry level wire up it's just basically the car without glass without glass wow. and you go out there yeah because let's face it, there is two different classes. Yes. I mean, some of these guys they spend just as much time as as NASCAR does on their demolition car, yeah, getting, you know, ready. getting it ready and everything. Yeah. And some people just want to knock out the glass and go have a ball. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So I get, yeah. I like that. I That's like right. that right. y'all did yep. that. Yeah, that yep. is cool. Yep. Yep. Yeah, now those guys will spend thousands of dollars to go try mm. to win one hundred and fifty bucks. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, but it's, you know, it's just like going golfing or going fishing or right. whatever. It's a hobby and you spend a lot of money. And you got a crowd, of, you got a crowd of thousands of people. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> it's hundreds, if not thousands. I would definitely it's, say it's over a thousand people in that. We run, news you run around 2,000. See, hey, yes, yeah. yes, I was going to say it's thousands of people. So yep. you kind of got that glory aspect of it too, you know, to be out there and just have a good time and, People rooting you on, and I mean, it just, it, uh, it makes it, it makes it. And for something as small as Patrick County, um, you know, I hate to say how small we are, but I'm proud how small we are. I'm, I'm, I'm thoroughly grateful there's only 17,000 people in the county. If it grows, it grows. I would want it to grow, uh, especially in employment and stuff like that. But uh, I love the ruralness of it. I love the... I know my teachers. I know the teachers that teach my grandkids. I know the teachers that taught my kids. Uh, I, I just enjoy the ruralness. I'm, I'm, I've been in cities. I've lived in cities, and I'm just not a fan of cities, I guess, because maybe I grew up in the woods, and I love the woods. I love Kreitz. I love Woolwine. I love Patrick Springs. I mean, just all those different places. And so we can go up there, and we can have us a good time. We invite our neighbors to come up there from Cal County, Henry, definitely Henry County. Y'all are listening right now. It's right up the road. It's right I up mean, the road. It's not far yeah, at all. it's not far at all. So y'all can come enjoy every night, like he said, Senior Night on Thursdays. We got the Demolition Derby on Thursday. There's a bunch of other events, livestock all week, games, rides all week long from now the, Tuesday all now the way the to kids Saturday. Night. Kids Night was Tuesday. Kids Night is Tuesday that night. just Patrick County kids or whoever's it, coming on in? Fair student. Any student, yes. any student, yes. great. yeah, that is great. Yeah. Any student, so y'all, if y'all listening out there, Martinsville, Henry County, uh, we uh, BTW twenty one, it reaches all the way up to Franklin County, goes all the way to Pennsylvania County. So come on out, you know, if you're a student, you get in free Tuesday. They got the bands. You pay, pay what is it twenty? Is it still twenty bucks? The wristbands bought at the fair are twenty five dollars. Twenty five, okay, yes. Okay. If you buy them in advance, you can go uh, to the um, coldrides.com. Okay. Uh, I think there's also a link from our website. We'll get that link on the bottom. Yeah, I think we'll get that link a, on there. There's a link there. And um, you can go there, and that wristband costs you only $20. Okay, so, so you I encourage you, if you come into the – and it's not for a specific night. You oh, it's any night. No, you can wow, buy. Wow, okay. You can buy it for any night. Nice. Uh, you don't, and if it, you know, if you want to go on Wednesday night, and, it, oh. and we don't want it to rain, but if it does rain, right. then you can just come another night. Oh, so, um, it's no, it's nice. not nice. Oh, that's great. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that's great. So, if now, you're watching on, I'm sorry, you you're watching on YouTube, we'll have that link below, and you can purchase that ticket, and it's good for the whole week. Not for the whole week. Oh, I'm sorry. If, it's any night for any the night, whole week. Any night for the whole week. Right. I'm sorry. Yeah. Any night for the whole week, 20 bucks. Cold rides. We'll have it at the bottom. You can get in there and have a good time. Yeah. But if yeah. you get it at the gate, it's going to be 25 bucks. 25 bucks. Now, on Saturday afternoon, we have a matinee. And the matinee is designed for the small kids. Mm -hmm. 
And so we'll open the gates around quarter to three. We'll turn the rides on at three o'clock, but it will only be the rides for the small kids. Mm. Um, and on that matinee, we'll sell a wristband for $15. Oh, okay. And the rides will run from three o'clock until six o'clock. Okay. We'll stop selling those wristbands at five o'clock. Oh, gotcha. So we don't want anybody to come in at five thirty and buy a wristband and they only have thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. To go. To ride. Right, so right, right. We'll stop selling those at five o'clock. From three o'clock till five o'clock, any parent that comes with their children, um, there's no fee to get in the gate. Really? Parents or children wow. get in for free. That's nice, man. On, on that matinee at five o'clock. We'll open up the ticket uh, at the front gate, and we'll start selling tickets for those that are coming for the for the nighttime events. Right. At 6 o'clock, all the rides will be turned on so that uh, the big That's rides great. will be you got your time. Right. You really thought of everybody. You know, you had the student night, the, the senior night, the, the toddler night. Uh, uh, that's I like that. So well, what, what age range? I know you said young kids. Well, so. it's, uh, it's, it's really not an age. It's a height thing. Oh, okay. Uh, Was it under it, 42 48? inches? Yes, 40, 48 or 36. Or some rides are 36, right. some are 48. We tried to we tried to set this thing in a comment right. and try to get the, you know. I saw what we love for John. I've been drinking a lot of escape the wind spot in the cave. I went to Turner's Village to get back. I was in a full plant set. Living in a rural area. Uh, they had a lot of thousands. It's not going to know how things change. I mean, it, that that's for you. can go over there and still, you know, do some shopping at a uh, national chain. Uh, but still, it's rural, and I love it. I love it so much. And it's one thing about Patrick County Fair, it is very rural. You know the people. You know you go in there. You uh, kind of expect what you're going to have. Y'all have had ride, different rides every year. I've loved that. Teenagers, they love going in there because they can get in there and walk around with their friends and go and enjoy it. And it's, a sa- it's always been a safe place. Y'all, you record, I, I would say never heard anything as a police president. Uh, I even hate that sort of Dan Smith, Alter County Police Department, they have always been present. Uh, I've just, I, I, kids, well, now my kids are grown, but my grandkids, I'll just let them go. They go with their friends, or they're ready to go, and just, you know, even ready to come back out. It's always been a family-friendly place. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So it's next week. Starts on Tuesday, and it goes through Saturday. So I'm looking forward to that. Time. You have to take a break. I'm sorry. We'll come back. we got any more pictures to go through. Talk to Mr. Sunny Swell. Sunny Swell, come back. Please like and subscribe. We appreciate it. Thank you. And we're back. With Mr. Sonny Swales with the Stewart Rotary Club promoting and just talking about the Patrick County Fair. It's coming up next week, Tuesday through Saturday, 69th annual. 69th annual fair. Wow. Wow. It's great. Agricultural fair. Agricultural fair. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, before we go any further, I do want to mention the sponsors. Yeah, we have um, several sponsors that we're very thankful to have. Uh, we have diamond sponsors of Patrick County Tourism, Clark Gas and Oil Company in Stewart, yes. Virginia, Thank and you. Autos by Nelson. My friend Barry Nelson uh, has been so gracious to be a sponsor for several years for us. Right. He'll have some really nice cars there on the lot for you to look at. And, um, nice. Hope he can sell a few of them. Yeah, yeah. We have platinum sponsors of Ten Oaks Pro Lamb there in uh, Patrick County. Mm-hmm. Um, Sova Health, yes. Patrick County Family Practice, Urgent Care, and Day Spa. Thank you, Dr. Cole. Thank you, Dr. Cole. Uh, we have gold sponsors of CPB Behavioral Therapy and Advocacy Services. That's a mouthful. Yes, it was. Oh, it's greatly I, needed. Right, you, and you did it well. Yeah, um, you did it really good. <laughs> Spit it all out. I'm glad there. I ain't got to read it. <laughs> We have silver sponsors of Carter Bank. Yes, thank you. Container Storage and Solutions, Stanley Town Health and Rehabilitation Center. Yeah. And the barn has its own sponsors. They have uh, various sponsors for the events that are going on down there. Um, Beverage Equipment Company, James River Equipment Company, Patrick County Cooperative Extension Office, Tractor Supply, Rule King, and Patrick County... Farm Bureau. Well, nice. Yeah. Uh, 
So that's the barn where they say, you know, well, they got all the animals. Yeah, we got we got two sides through. to the barn. We got uh, a big animal side where there'll be uh, nights where they'll have horses and cows and uh, big animals. Goats. And then the chickens. other side, they'll have small animals. They'll have rabbits and chickens and ducks and. Yeah. Um, it's 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 a good time for kids like going in there and seeing the adults do too. Oh yeah, uh, but the kids really like going in and seeing the small animals. Right, it's, it's they really cool. do. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Most of them, I'd say, in Patrick County have, have seen those animals, okay. but then there's other ones that come from other places, and some in Patrick County that they don't get to, you know, see that stuff up close. Well, even yeah. like my kids, <clears throat> they've all seen those type of animals, but sometimes you have very unique looking chickens. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, they have different. different breeds or different, you know, uh, colors, colorations of them. And my kids, we make laps. We just, you know, we go to the large animal and then over to the small and then over to the large and over to the small. <laughs> and we just continue doing that for about an hour. <laughs> just love them. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, Wayne Kirkpatrick puts on that uh, show down there, and he does a really good job. Thank of, you, Wayne. Uh, working with the farmers and the people that have animals to bring in to show it. Nice. Uh, he's done that for several years. So he's a rotary member, too, so everybody just also. plays their part. Yeah, absolutely. I love it. Yep. And I don't not, let me just go back over the um, the cost to come to the fair. Yes. Um, the gate for an adult is five dollars. That Can't gets you that. into the fair. Can't that gets it. you in to get your ribeye right. steak sandwich or your hot dog or your hamburger or whatever. Um, students, except for Tuesday night, is three dollars admission. Wow. And on Saturday night, when we have our demolition derby, the tickets to the derby are ten bucks for adults. Five dollars for students. Nice. Under six is free. Now, there's two ways you can get into the derby. One, you can go in through the front gate, go through the building, through the amusement rides, and have and access go down. to the fair. That's right. Or the other way, you can park in the lower parking lot go and down. come up and go straight in to the derby Just area. Just the derby itself. Right. Now. One thing you need to keep in mind, to go to the Derby and not go through the front gate, you still have to buy a ticket for the fair because once the Derby's over, then you can go up into the fairground. So right. if you come in through that lower gate, you'll pay a $5 fee to, uh, enjoy. Fee to get into the fair and $10 for the, Just like everyone for the Derby. Right. Well, one thing I have to say to shout out to the Stewart Rotary Club, and I know you all are in charge of it and all the other ones, that is extremely... And y'all have kept the same price for a very long time, very long time. Uh, that's extremely good because I've gone to these other fairs and everything's went, you know, we got Bidenomics. I hate to blame the, blame the president, but anyway, it's just the administration we have now. Everything, the cost of everything has went up. Everybody knows this. But to go and have a good time with your family, I mean, that's very reasonably priced to be able to get in there, especially if you have five children at the home. I got five or more. So I'm looking into the, uh, the that wristband that you could buy online. Yeah. Well, that saved save me 25 bucks? I got right. five little kids. A night. Right. right. So a when night. you come four nights, that's going to save you All right. yeah. 100 bucks. Uh, that's yeah. going to be good. <laughs> right. I need that. I right. need that information. Right. We'll put that on the bottom. Right. So thank you all for keeping that. Yeah. Yep. Thank you all for keeping it for the family. And that, that was part of the uh, the discussion this year. Should we raise the the prices and we just decided that no that it's not the time to do it with the economy the right. way it is the way it is and we try to hold loose you need to get, i mean it's like Thank a vacation you. for most Thank folks for i mean some people cannot afford like we you know we had to cut back on what we we're doing and you can't afford but the kids they love going to that stuff and just uh you know when it gets extremely priceful especially for something that a child wants to do it's hard to say no but when people are working together and the community's coming together like the rotary club builds brings people together uh they keep these prices the same that they've been for years so i'll make sure I've, 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 I've spoken out against it in the past uh, i was at the of course you know who and 1270 who and Stewart for eight years and i remember the prices going up and uh i always uh, was an advocate for the the people and would say a little something about it i think i probably uh uh got some people upset but i mean that's just the way it is but when you do it in a positive manner, I want to speak out on it too. And y'all have kept it a positive for many years. And even this year is no different that it's you kept it for the family. And I greatly appreciate y'all. So that's what I want and to say. And that's the reason we added that matinee for the afternoon on Saturday mm -hmm. um, to make it cheaper for the 
the family that has the small kids. Right, and, uh, right. And they love that stuff. They, they love the they rides. Do. They want to go see their friends and ride ride rides with their friends. I got pictures of my grandson riding with his friends. Uh, just thoroughly, I mean, and that's memories. Like when I was younger, I would go, and it would bring back memories to me. And I know that's memories set for them also. Well, without one, the burden on the family. Yeah, one of the things that I do is help parking. Yeah, and it's it's almost a treat to be out there in the parking lot and watch a, a young family come yes. up, and they got four and five year old kids right. and one under. A, a stroller coming through They're ready to and go. you see the look on those kids <laughs> eyes it's it's worth yes, whatever you're putting into that amen. effort to amen. make something like this yes. happen to see those kids they love it right uh, so I, now if you would show some of those photos uh try to go through there and just catch all the families and the kids and just enjoying their times several different right do you know the rides this year or is that kind of i know cole kind of runs that so yeah it's kind he of a, runs that but I do have a list of them, and I didn't even think that's about okay. it. No, it. no, that's okay. They've had several different uh, through the years, and I like the variety. You know, sometimes you can come, you can, they've always usually have those. And the, the kids, they just thoroughly enjoy those rides. No matter what it is, I know it's going to be kid-oriented. Uh, definitely a carousel up there. <laughs> we will, we will have a wheel. Yeah. There's my grandson right in the middle with his fingers up in the air. Yeah, he's having a good – he had a blast. He saw a buddy right there beside of him right there that he goes to school with and I think a couple more in the back. Uh, it's pretty neat. You go up there and you see your friends. Without the school, you know, you don't have that school. I mean, it's fun to go to school, of course, you know, well, I guess, and see your friends, but you don't have a lot of time. So when you're getting out there and you're actually in a ride and a ride with your best friend that you eat lunch with every day – I mean, that's something he'll hold on to for a very long time. That's memories for a very long time. So bring the bring the kids on out. They'd love it. They would love it. Plenty of games, plenty of good times. I think Chad sent me some pictures too of he's he's enjoying uh, times with his kids, and you know, mothers, dads, they can enjoy times with their kids too. There's funnel cakes. Oh yeah, that's one of my favorites. Very fattening, and uh, so we love it. <laughs> There's a slide. <clears throat> I enjoyed that picture. Some very good stuff. Yeah, just the, just different rides. I love it. Well, I guess one of the games that, that I miss is, uh, for those that can remember, the rat game where the guy had the rat and there were holes in the uh, this little shelf and he'd ring this bell and the rat would come out. Really? <laughs> and then... <laughs> The rat would go and go down in a hole, and you bet on where you, would you hole thought would go? the oh, rat okay. was going to go. That's cool. <laughs> now, what year was that, that Sonny? Well, <laughs> <laughs> let's see. My daughter is, uh, I think she's 43 this year, uh, and she was about three years old. So that was 40 <laughs> years ago. But she looked, and she'd sit up on that uh, little ledge there, and that rat, and she loved to play that game. <laughs> We don't have a, good a picture. Of I guess no, we need a good picture. That one. <laughs> I guess the uh, uh, the animal rights people uh, yeah, probably ran that guy out of business where right. abusing a rat. There. Right. I hear the bearded ladies coming back, but you know I don't know if we're going to have that I this year or not. I can confirm that. <laughs> I can neither <laughs> neither confirm nor deny no. that a bearded lady uh, will be nope. at the Patrick. Can't do it. Patrick game. <laughs> But we got a, uh, you was telling me about Betty Kirkpatrick. Yeah, uh, Betty Kirkpatrick and Something new. Judy Lacks. Yeah. Have, uh, I love both with, those ladies, uh, really good folks. You're certainly right about that. But um, they are in charge of our agricultural exhibits that we take in on Saturday and Sunday prior to the fair. Yeah, so uh, this Saturday and Sunday. That's right. Yeah. This, this, Coming this up weekend. quick. Coming this week. <clears throat> but they, they've gotten this um, computer program that a person can go online now and enter their pickles or beans or whatever they're bringing yeah. and it saves them time having to stand in line speeds up the process and if you do that then they're going to put your name in a hat and they're going to have a drawing after everybody's checked their stuff in yeah. and somebody's going to win a vip parking pass for the week oh wow which is a that, pretty cool deal a right? very cool deal now yep. you said you was in charge well you helped with the parking 
there's a lot of cars that a come in. I mean, yep. a ton of vehicles that yep. come up there. So that VIP parking, you know, anybody knows that. that and you and you have handicapped parking. I know that. But, uh, you know, anybody can get that VIP parking. That really helps out a whole lot. And I'll put in a little ad here for the uh, parking folks. Yeah. Our baseball team. Really? Who happens to be the champions. reigning state champions? State champions of Virginia. State They'll be uh, doing the parking. You'll see the coaches and the players out there oh, wow. parking so during the week. So. so don't forget to congratulate them while right. they're standing Absolutely. out there. And some right. autographs. And we don't we don't get tired of hearing that. All right. Let okay. me tell you. Amen. Sure. Yeah. Yes. But uh, if you if you're computer literate, you can go to Patrick County dot fairentry.com and if you can figure out how to do it i don't know that i could but uh, uh <laughs> those people who do the computers should right. be able to figure out how yeah. to enter their get a family member to their help stuff you right yep you know get a 10 year old <laughs> right right and we'll have that link too we'll get that link at the bottom Good. if you'd like we'll to enter all the links yep. yeah we'll get all the links that we can in there at the bottom if you're watching this on youtube and if you're watching it on btw 21 just go over to our youtube channel be real the podcast and you'll find us at be real the podcast and just click below where it says a little more and uh we'll have all the links there for you and i'll even put in there how to set it up for you so it's uh, coming up this Saturday and Sunday is when you need to start registering. Actually, you can register before, but it's uh, get it in there. Get you a chance to get that VIP ticket. Yeah, and for those who do quilts, quilts is a big oh, yes. thing at the Patrick right. County Fair. Right. If you do quilts, I think they check theirs in on Friday. Okay. I think Friday That's is tomorrow. their check-in day. As far as, well, this will air Thursday, so tomorrow. <laughs> TV magic. TV Whoa. magic. Ooh, it's Thursday. <laughs> we'll get it in there. We'll make sure that they uh, they know all about those links. And if you need some help, you know, just reach out. Shoot, we're Patrick County boys. I'm right there, Patrick County News. So I'll be glad to help anybody that needs any kind of explanation or help. Just message me. We yep. can talk over the phone. And the uh, once again at the at the barn, that's a, that's a big deal for the for the fair. That's right. one of the, the that's big a major things draw. that people enjoy. But on Tuesday night is horse night. Okay. So if you like horses, that's the night to come out to see the horses. Tuesday be night, in the barn horse on night. Tuesday. Yep. Okay. On Wednesday. That'd so be right night, after the pizza eating contest. And that. <laughs> and we do have um, porta johns along the way. So. <laughs> Um, and horse night, you need. horse night is sponsored by Piedmont Farmers Cooperative. That used to be Chatham Southern States, but they've changed their name now. Yeah. On Wednesday night, the PC Cooperative Extension Night is at the barn, and um, goats. They are featuring the Rabbit. scoop on poop. Display. Scoop on poop. Mm -hmm. That's a, Chad that's, knows about scooping some gonna poop. Be, oh, it's going to be a judge poultry show and rabbit show. Oh, yep. Thursday night poop. is tractor supply night. Pellets. Friday night Pellets. is rural king night. And Saturday night is farm bureau night at the barn. And if anybody's interested in bringing something or participating there, uh, you can reach out to Wayne Kirkpatrick. Yes. Um, and we'll give you his email address if somebody wants to reach out. We'll to, put it. I'll put it at the bottom him. there. Yep. Yes, definitely. Yep. Yes, definitely yep. share that with me. I'll be glad to get that on there for him. And Wayne will be selling raffle tickets at the barn. So what are we doing? Giving away rabbits? What are we doing? Nope. Raffle tickets? We're for... giving away steak. Oh, hey. Yep. Now you're having, talking my language. We've got a quarter of a beef, and this has been donated to the rotary club by ridgecrest farms that's mark and dorinda bray yeah they're down in lawsonville north carolina right um roughly uh 87 pounds of processed vacuum sealed and frozen beef uh two packs of short ribs three two or three roasts two wow. or three packs of flank steak ribeyes fillets New York strips, sirloin strips, beef stew, cube steak, mm. 40 hamburgers, Whew. and three bags of soup bones. That's, wow. That's for Rover, I that guess. That sounds like a boys hauling cookout to me. Right. You can buy one ticket for five bucks, or you can get five tickets for 20 bucks. So, hey, uh, hey, hey. 
bring you an extra little change and buy you a ticket for right. that beef. And there. we know how much beef has went up, so we greatly appreciate y'all. Our Lawsonville is our neighbors. I mean, they, are. they really. Uh, they're part of us, I would say, but I mean, just so happens that they're across the line in North Carolina. But I love some Lawsonville folks, Sandy Ridge. Uh, they always come up and support everything Patrick County does. We get a lot of support out of Stokes County and yes. Surrey County. Yes, sure do. yes, good people. Yep. We just happen to be in the heart of just about all that, Henry yep. County and all of them. So greatly appreciate that. Yeah, we we're definitely a regional fair. Yes. We, we draw from five, six, seven counties. So, yes, so absolutely. And it's a, like I said earlier, and I just I, I want to keep emphasizing that it's a safe, family-oriented fair. I've been to several that I've kind of, and of well, course. It's, it's Denim, fenced in. Yeah, it's fenced you know, in. You got little kids run off. They're not going to run far before they run into some help <laughs> right. somewhere. Right. You know? And you go down to what used to be called the Dixie Classic Fair. Uh, we've been down there oh. several times. Back when my grandmother was alive, we'd always go senior I days. I get anxiety. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, you know, there's a lot, it's different people. You don't know, hardly know anybody. And it's huge. And so you just can't let them go. You got to hold on to them tight, just like going to Myrtle Beach or anything. You just got to kind of stay right here uh we still do that in patrick county but it's still a little bit more leniency of about you know you know people that are running the different things uh not so much the carnies but the the people that are running the booths and stuff like that and they, they got friends there's my teacher there's my teacher i mean you know you see everybody up there so it's just a very family oriented fair uh it's been grounded like you said in roots uh for years and years and years and so i'm i'm a Definitely grateful for the Stewart Rotary Club. Something I want to mention a little bit more you mentioned during the break about getting to know uh, how do you become a member of Rotary or how does, how, does, how does actually Rotary work? Rotary meets every Monday night except for holidays mm. at Rotary Field. We meet in the Hooker Building. And if, if anyone is interested, they just need to contact a Rotarian and get an invitation to come, see who we are, what we're doing, and um, we do a lot of work. Right. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're not, Amazing stuff. We're not a Books, uh, all kinds of stuff. A meet and greet. We're yeah. we're a working club. Yes. And um, but if if you want to support your community and your world, we do world projects as well as uh, local projects. That's great. Uh, and that's right there where the fair is at too. Uh, excuse my, I'm having a glitch here, but it's Woodland Drive in Stewart. But what it four four twenty six four twenty six is a. Is a Physical address. Physical address. Yep. 426 yep. Woodland Drive. It's where the, um, if you're going up by Walmart on 58 in Stewart, it's the only Walmart we have in Badger County. One of the very few stoplights. If you go up the hill toward the, what used to be a uh, hospital, unfortunately, take a left right there immediately after the stoplight at Walmart. Go up the hill, take a left. That's Woodland Drive. If you go out there, just what, quarter mile on the left, there's Stewart Rotary. So you can be, become a member and also find the fair right there. And you'll right. be able to see it. If you go to Walmart, you can see the lights and everything all next week. Looking forward to it, Tuesday through Saturday. Such a beautiful time, beautiful people, uh, giving back to the community and having a good time and very reasonably, very, very reasonably priced to get in and have a good time with the family. And choose your night. Every night you want to go or choose your night you would like to go and uh, let the kids go have a good time. But I do encourage people to go online. If you're going to ride, go online, save buy that, that $5. twenty dollar wristband, yes. and save yourself five bucks. And if you got three kids, right, fifteen bucks. Five kids. Yes. Uh, you, I have so, seven total, but two right. of two you're are, saving some money. Two have already grown up, <laughs> saving some money, and so. have kids of their own, so they're taking. Are care they of sending their money back home? <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> That's good stuff. Well, Sonny, we greatly appreciate you having you out here. Is there any, anything you want to say? Yeah. Anything before? No, we, I, I just did we to... miss something? I know we we got the sponsors in there, and I don't want to. I know you got a lot of paperwork there, and I greatly appreciate you coming so informed, uh, because we're not, and uh, we're just average citizens. We got kids we're ready to go to the fair next week. We want to support it as much as we can. We want to support the sponsors as much as we can. Thank you to the sponsors that make that happen. Uh, they're doing it for the families of Patrick County. And I uh, just can't say thank you enough. Just thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, well, Stilt Rotary wants to thank our community and yes. the surrounding areas for supporting us. We've right. grown over the years. We started out, uh, we called ourselves a Patrick County Fair. But for the last 10, 12 years, we've been considered a regional fair because yes. we draw from North Carolina, Absolutely. up in Virginia, and, 
uh, we just appreciate all the support. Right. And that's who we're hoping to reach with this program. I mean, it's, it's going to be, it's of course, BTW 21. That's local to Martinsville and Henry County. And then, of course, we're on YouTube and we have a lot of subscribers. We thank you for subscribing. Uh, please like the video and subscribe. It helps us. We don't charge anybody to come out here and have a good time and to inform the folks. And so that really helps the channel out. Uh, actually, it's just an algorithm. It, it, when you like it or subscribe to it, it just shares to more people. So you're really sharing it with other people. We're not trying to make a dollar off of it. Uh, we greatly appreciate Boyce Holland Veterinary Services for sponsoring this. We also uh, appreciate Boyce Holland Lock Boys for years sponsored up there at the the Patrick County Fair. The Bulls and Barrels, yes, the uh, sure did. yes, the rodeo, the rodeo, yep. yes, Lock loved sure the rodeo. Uh, he always got me some tickets to that. I would go, and I mean, he was smiling ear to ear. He'd always wore his uh, cowboy hat and jacket. And uh, just always had a good time, so we greatly appreciate that. And uh, so, yeah, I believe that. Well, there we go, right there. There's a little bit of the, little bit of the, uh, the rodeo there when they used to have it. It's great. So hopefully we can kind of work and get that back. Oh, it's a little somebody Henry. familiar there. That was a little while ago, though. That was a little Henry. That's been a while back. That's when he had blonde hair, ain't it? Right. Well, that's Blondish. his birthday. He's like ten now. Yeah. Well, he's young and well, very young. There's his oh. brother, Benjamin. <laughs> So you know these kids, Chad? Yeah, you know those, those are half of my tribe. <laughs> a little bit of you had a part in that, yeah. making those. But and they was. had a really good time, and they so still how do. How much time we got? Are we done? Yeah, just about. Just about rocking and rolling. About five, five more minutes. minutes. You got anything yeah. else you'd like to add? Anything else. If it's an hour program. We're good. We thank you, Sonny, for coming out Sonny, here. Thank you, sir. I know all thank of y'all are busy. Much. Thank you. You're, I know you're pretty much all y'all are businessmen. And I, and women. I've never met you, uh, but I think your wife and my mother-in-law are good friends. Debbie Cottrell? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, uh, oh, Debbie's. They're not just good friends. Well, I know that. <laughs> right. That's know an that. understatement. That is an understatement. <laughs> uh, but um, Katie, her youngest daughter, is the, the mother of my tribe. All right. So I think uh, Miss your daughter-in-law, Missy, Missy? Mm -hmm. she has uh, tutored Henry and a couple of my kids, and I think we have uh, one of their dogs at the clinic now that got chewed up by girl a dog. By, yeah, yep. she's a she's a she's a good dog, but uh, she's a handful. She is a handful. Uh, but we're going to get her back together, and we're going to get her back to her. We appreciate y'all so, doing uh, that. That's what I love about Patrick County. See, everybody knows everybody. Actually, right. Missy's going to be in charge of the pizza eating contest. Hey. Oh, there we go. Yeah. She's Sorry. a Rotarian. Oh, is it? She, she really likes her some Henry. It's Henry's birthday today. That was that little fella there. She's Riding She really likes him, so I might get him over there and see if he could eat some of that pizza. There you go. <laughs> but thank you very much. Okay. Daniel. Yes. Y'all be real and come on back. Come on back. Be real.